Hey guys, and welcome back to another um, tutorial here for scripting in R uh, RPG Maker VX RGSS2. Um, these uh, most of the methods we use here can be used in regular RGSS, which is basically uh, just saying whether or not you're using VX-based scripts or XP-based scripts, because it's still Ruby in the end. Anyways, um, what we are going to be doing today is to go over um, how to make your menus scroll properly. Um, I bring this up because um, I had a comment uh, on one of the videos, or it was a PM, um, but basically they were asking, well, I go into game party and I set the max members to 8, but after I do that, then my windows don't scroll, pro scroll properly. So I set up this test here. We are just executing uh, the adding of additional party members, and we've already got four in our party. So if we open this up and we just take a quick look at what's actually happening here, we are going to open this up and we say status, and here we can see it's going below the bottom of the window. And so we don't have any other options here. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to fix this. Uh, so this is uh, something that's uh, pretty simple and really to be honest uh, when they built this they should have you know built that into it because it's kind of pointless to have this maximum member option here but not take in that into account in the, not only the battle system but the menu as well so what we're going to go through is how to fix that today so we are going to look at our window menu status which is the window that displays that information if you're not sure what that window is for the scene that you're trying to adjust just open that scene and look and find out which window is being initialized as that so here we got our window menu status oops not def i wanted class but that's okay i'll just do an overall search so here we can see that the menu status is less than the window selectable. Window selectable has all of the power to be able to do this and easily, but they didn't implement it in this, which I, I still don't understand. So we're going to go through and we're going to teach you how to fix it. Okay, so we don't need to bother changing any of the base things here. Uh, we're just going to leave those all as they are. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to change um, a couple of different things here. Uh, we're going to have this call rather than redefining its own update cursor method we're going to actually call the uh, original one rather than this one. So we're going to just comment this out like this just like that and now that no longer applies. Alright so a couple of things we do need to know um, number one is that this item max has to be set actually before we do the contents. But what we're going to do is rather than doing self contents clear, we're going to do create contents. Now, the reason why is because if we go and we look at Windows Selectable def create, uh, create contents, it looks and it uses the um, the row max, window line height, um, and so on to actually generate your bitmap. Now the problem is is that window line height is not what we want. Each of these different representations of your character is 96. So we're going to grab this and we're going to copy it. We're going to go back to menu status and we're going to put that over into here. And we're going to change that window line height to 96 because 96 is the um, size of these uh, pictures. It's the size of the portraits. It's, it's how many lines they're displaying, etc. So, if you want to make these bigger, um, then you know, uh, taller or whatever, then you can do that here as well, just by incrementing that value and then adjusting these by y around a little bit. Okay, so. Now our window is going to generate with the appropriate size, um, but it's probably not going to scroll properly just yet. So let's go and take a look at it here. And so here we can see now we've got the arrow, and here we're getting our uh, background thing, 
So we're getting the appropriate number of scrolls now, but it's not fitting the size of the characters. So let's fix that. So the reason it's not fitting the characters, if we go and we look at def update cursor inside of the base script, the uh, Windows selectable, it goes through and it says, all right, well, determine the size. If I'm below the top row, I'm, I'm sorry, yeah, if I'm above the top row, then set the top row. If I'm below the bottom row, then set the bottom row. And then it figures what the rect, uh, or what the size of the index, or, or I'm sorry, not the index, but the, uh, it's setting the, um, this, uh, oh, what's the best way to say this? This item rect is the, um, the area in which it needs to be selected, okay? So we're going to look up def item rect. And if we look at that inside of the base definition, it uses Windows line height um, to determine the size of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy that, and we're gonna put that down here, and we're just gonna change these Windows line height to 96 and 96. Okay, so this is the Y placement and this is the height of that uh, selection. So now it's going to be of the appropriate size. So let's go and just take another look at it here. All right, so now you can see that we are of the appropriate size, but it's still not scrolling. So let's go fix that. Now, the beauty of this one here is, is that there are only two other places we need to touch in order to fix this. So our bottom row, equal, and so on. So here is our page row max. Our page row max is the total number of rows that can be displayed on the thing. And then our top row and top row uh, equal both need to be updated as well because they're going to be jumping it down just a little bit so we need to we need to have those available we're going to just take those and paste them right here and we're going to change that to 96 change that to 96 and change that to 96 see this is pretty easy isn't it okay just try this out one more time now And there you have a scrolling menu that scrolls appropriate to the total number of characters that you have in your party. So that's it for the menu. Okay, so now we need to go update the battle system. So um, we're going to just go ahead and just close our, uh, our test here. And now, if you notice, I modified the original script here. I did. I actually made these modifications to the base script rather than to my own. Um, this is just because this is something that I feel should have been in the main script but um, wasn't. But good news is though we can actually just take this information and go put it oops, in a in its own script. So we can just come on down here. Oops, that was something else I was working on. I'll do that later. All right, so here we've got window, uh, let's do menu, actually large party fix. Okay, so here we've got our main information and then we didn't touch the initialize method, so we don't need to touch that. We replaced the refresh method and we added these other methods. So let's come on down here going to drop those in here like that and now let's come back up here to the window menu status and let's remove all of this now that we've done that okay and let's put that back to the way it was it was self.contents.clear okay so this was the base script for the menu so we're just going to leave that there. And then we're going to remove this since we don't need it anymore. And then right here, 
is where we can call our old method. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to alias this refresh win men status menu status uh, large fix refresh okay copy that and put that right there so that it goes through and does its regular thing. Now, why is that? Well, what we're doing is basically the whole reason we even modified refresh was because we needed to extend the size of the window, the bitmap that's actually generated. The default bitmap that's generated, and if we come back up here and we look at window base, under the initialize method it runs create contents and create contents creates the bitmap with the base values here for width and height which is just the width and height of the window itself so it's basically saying create one that fits the size of this window well we have more information that we need to draw that has to be beyond the size of the window so we have to extend that window selectable allows us to extend that um, by setting the item max size before creating the bitmap so it uses the item max in order to determine how big it should be and then here we modified that to say alright well for the um, for the total number of rows rows that can be displayed they need to be of 96 length so um, it uses that now the item max is actually figured into the row max it takes like the item max divided by the column max which is one in this case so basically it just returns the same thing and then it multiplies that by 96 in order to get us the total height of the uh, window that we should have so uh, that's where that comes from um, so once we actually have all of that then um, that is going to generate that bitmap that's going to be the actual length that we need it to be in which then we can then scroll back and forth on that bitmap so um, let's just go and uh, play this one more time now and just make sure that our uh, entries are still valid and are going to work. So we're just going to go ahead and talk to her and open this up and it broke somehow. Let's go double check that. What changed? Windows menu status. We aliased the original one. We did the refresh, so it's doing that. Did I miss something else? Mm, let's see. Is the window menu status overriding something I just set? Self.contents.clear shouldn't be the problem. Well, let's just go and grab this. We'll put it down there and see if it fixes it. I'd, I'm not sure initially. Maybe I accidentally removed something else. I wasn't paying attention to this. So we'll do create contents right here. We'll just try this out again and make sure that that was not the reason for it to break. All right, so it's still not scrolling. But it is of the appropriate size, so it's probably because I didn't copy bottom row. Item rect is here. Well, you know, that started out looking so great and easy, didn't it? This is the joys of programming. <laughs> All right, so we've got our create contents. It's creating it of the appropriate size. The item rect is being of the appropriate size. The top row and page row max self dot height. Is it setting? Let's see, we know that the, it's going to be 416 high, right? So let's just type that in there. Grr, why is that not working? Page row max. Page row max is what it's using in a couple other areas in order to determine this. Da, da, da. We got our top row. We got our 
bottom row. Let's go back up and look at Windows Selectable. If all the code was there previously, I don't see why it wouldn't be working now. Especially where it's the same code, just copied down to another place. Let's see. Top row. That's one we copied over. Page row max is one we had copied over. Page item max is not actually based on doesn't have any values where we can set the window line height. We already updated this method as well. Create contents has got it in there. Oh, you know what it is? It's update cursor. We didn't redefine update cursor. We need to get rid or re-return the original update cursor. That's the reason for the problem. Oops. All right, so we're going to go back down here, and we're going to bring back up our large party fix, and then we're going to add the original update cursor. Now, the reason we have to just do it this way is because the window menu status overwrote the, the uh, version of that same method that was used in Windows Selectable. So now it's going to do the top row check stuff in order to make sure it does the scroll. That's why we had to comment that out, is because the, the one above it is actually smarter. So let's go ahead and try that. There we go. See? Had me panicking there, like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to fix it now. All right. So now that we've got that working, let's go do the battle system. So over here, I believe this guy will we go a battle and here we can see we've got the different characters listed in our box right here but once we get to here it does continue scrolling down like it's supposed to but it's not displaying their names so it doesn't really uh, I mean it doesn't really show us much so what we need to do is we need to look at what window that is so we're gonna go into the battle system here and we're going to uh, look, it's going to be something in our window viewport, uh, our info viewport. And our info viewport has the window battle status, and that's what we're looking for. So we're going to go into class window battle status, and here we're creating the window, and then we run the refresh. The refresh runs the contents clear, and then it goes through and says draw item and it looks like it's got everything calculated so all we need to do is change a refresh method here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy all the way up to here since I'm lazy and I'll just delete the other stuff so we're gonna drop this down to the bottom paste that in and we're gonna take that up like that and we're going to remove that line and then we're going to create contents right there. And as we had started to do previously, let's fix this as well. Refresh window menu status large party fix. Refresh. Which does all that previous stuff. All right, so we can do the same thing over here. The reason why you usually do want to do an alias is simply because once you do an alias, then that means that you're going to more than likely be uh, more compatible with other people's systems out there. Um, so it is, a, it is an important thing to make sure you do that. Also, do your uh, dollar sign at in order to prevent it from being aliased more than once if you do an F12 reset. Okay, so let's just go ahead and try that. So this here is all we did. We took this line from up here and moved it down, and we changed it from self.contents.clear to create contents, which then uses this item max in order to determine the size of the bitmap that should be created. Hence, the other information should be drawn because it has the room to be drawn. Oops, let's talk to her first so that we get the extra party members. Alright, let's try this out. And 
there you have it. You can see we've got all the additional party members all being displayed. And that's it. I mean, that was pretty simple, right? At least the battle system uses just the base line size, and so we didn't have to worry about making that one any bit special. So that's it for today. Um, we can, you know, come back and touch these things a little bit more, but I think this one here is, you know, it's a very simple change to be made. And again, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure why in the base window status, why they didn't do that because, I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Uh, if you're going to give us the ability to extend our parties, then shouldn't you automatically make the menu status compensate for that? And likewise, the battle system, but whatever. So here we've got, um, this is how we do our changes in order to fix that. So if you have any questions or anything like that, just leave me a message below. And as always, uh, comment, leave me some suggestions on what we might do next. Okay, we'll catch you guys later. See ya.